What's going on guys? Stalker back again. Hope you are fantastic today and welcome to a new horror game called Perception. Now, this game is apparently very, very spooky and really interesting as well. It's a new mechanic for a horror game where we're actually blind, but we use our senses to go around and explore. So it's going to be really, really creepy. So, um, apparently this game is in chapters and each chapter is about an hour long. So we'll do hourly episodes if that's cool with you. So let's go, new game. Select my- oh god. I like to- I like to get to know my character. Cassie will talk a fair amount. I prefer my character on the quiet side. Cassie will only speak for plot critical lines. Let's go with chatty Cassie. Because you guys will probably want to know the story, right? Let's go. Inspired by true events. When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. Oh, God. <laughs> you learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen. Tap your cane. Tap my cane by pressing space. It's Whoa! Creepy. Oh, this is going to be so creepy. Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. Oh my God! You learn to trust yourself, even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. No. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and oh my God! Waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Okay. So, guys. We are blind. And we're using our cane to tap for sounds. That's why it's going to be so creepy. Right? Really creepy. Gloucester. 11.30pm. Are you for real? No way. Please don't be a creepy old house. Phone vibrates. Hello? Cassie, I'm on my way to stay put. Listen, I need to do this. Do what, Cassie? <sighs> I'm at the door. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going in this random house in the middle of nowhere, blind. Because that's a perfect thing to do, right? Are you for real right now? No, I, I am not going in that house. I love the graphics already. Like, this game looks really, really nice. Knock the door. Hello? It's going to be abandoned, I Cassie. There, but you know nobody's there, but you've knocked the door. <laughs> Bless her. Oh, God, no. It should be locked. It's Hello? not. We already know it's going to be weird. Someone is, you know, here. Okay, guys. Oh, God. Chapter one, it's complete. The rope. Oh, God. Press space to echo, echo locate. Or I'm moving in. Nobody's supposed to be here. I heard people, though. I heard whispers. Oh, no, guys. I can't do this. I can't do this. Can I go in this door? So we're moving in this house. And apparently, there's people in here. Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. In my dreams, Ooh. I always see a rope, Ooh. a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Okay, a rope? Maybe start there. An apple and an axe. <gasps> oh my god, what the frick? Hate, hate, hate fire. Someone's had a nice uh, pizza party here. There's pizza and cola. Oh, grab. Dear Happy, an Happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our 10th year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. 
Oh. oh. Who's Felicia? What was that? A memory? Oh, God. Um. 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 I am not going anywhere near that door. Oh, it's locked. Do I have to go this way? So, because I'm blind, apparently I can see spirits or something. And I'm, I'm investigating this house and what's happened to Felicia and her husband with her kids. Oh, God. Play. Dr. Breyer. Okay. Interesting. So, I'm guessing it's going to be a creepy game. Landmarks and memories appear in green. So, I can sense ghostly memories or something. Which is a, actually a really cool thing. Apparently, they say blind people have, like, extra... They learn extra senses. What was that? Use sixth sense for the next goal. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if you get lost, it will tell you where to go. Okay. That's cool. That door's locked. I want to know more about this Felicia. Hello? Bye, Felicia. Hello? Is that a baby's crib? Am I following a baby's crib? Okay, I'll go... Oh, no. Oh, someone just pushed me in. Um. Now, Cassie, that music box belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. I'm at the orphanage. The music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. Oh I'm scared to go. <sighs> oh God. But She's tapping her feet. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. Okay, so I'm an orphan. I'm an orphan. <sighs> so when I get knocked out, I have like memories. I should have left so. That one buried in the backyard. I'm guessing I'm gonna Put have a lot. Back. Okay, right. Let's go through this door then. See what's down here. Okay, nothing. There oh, is what's the rope? The rope. I hope this isn't a rope for you know what. What the freak? I don't understand. This is the rope. The same damn rope for my dreams. What the hell does it mean? Damn. Guess I still have some digging around to do. Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. I just got goosebumps. I just got goosebumps. Grab rock. Retrigger memory. to touch it and it was hot the stone wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater and the stones around it were cool to the touch what really worries me is that it's a protection stone what the hell there's gonna, there's gonna be some demon demon business going on please don't be about Hide? Hide? What's that supposed to mean? Tossing and turning and tossing and turning. 
I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. Oh, no. This baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It must be very excited. You've got a demon baby. She's got a demon baby, yo. She's got a freaking demon baby. What the hell's that? I keep finding these little things in the strangest places around the house. The last one I threw over the side of the cliff because it made me feel dizzy when I touched it. But here it is. The same Break dance! The unstitched eye back under our bed. What? And it's a little soggy. Oh god, guys, this is definitely demons. Or like a cult. Or something like that. Guys, we gotta go where that voice was. Someone was mimicking me in a really creepy voice. Oh god. Hello? I'm not going where the wind's blowing. Someone's opened the front door. Oh, wait, the window's open. What the hell? Why is there an arrow of tins at the window? What the hell's that? It was the tree in my oh. dreams and I just forgot. Oh, God. It's the apple tree. What the hell? Who's here? Oh no. I hear someone throwing up. Please don't be Felicia. Oh. Ghost. Actual ghost. Is that Fel <coughs> That's Felicia! <sighs> Honey, can you grab the pills you prescribed me for morning sickness? I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab them. Jesus. Gotta grab some pills. But I got it. We gotta get Felicia a pills. Oh god, I can run as well. That's not good. Oh god, oh my god, we're going outside. We're going outside. Oh, no. <laughs> ah! Ah! Freaking freak me! You're imagining things, Cass. Freak me! God damn, Cassie's so calm about that. I freaking pooed myself. God! Go and get the pills for Ka uh, Felicia. Is that an owl? What the hell was that? That looked like a bird to me. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Grab the pills and let's go now. Scan with Delphi. What the hell? Delphi. Next to speech. What? Patient. Briar. Felicia. 20 milligrams fluke sodine. Tabs. Instructions. Take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. Ah! That's really cool. Describes to his own wife. Oh god, what the hell's that back in the house? You gotta prescribe to your own wife because of the baby. Uh oh, someone's calling me. It's my husband. New text message from Serge. Oh, Serge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. Cassie, you're and digging I'm a hole. I think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. <gasps> Between them, my parents. I just thought that if I'm an orphan, what if 
They're my parents. What do you think about that? I think that could be true. This place feels different. Oh no. I hear whispers. Hey, Felicia. I'll be out in a bit. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. Okay. At least Felicia's been nice. Now that I'm done running ghost errands, I can get back to the snooping. What the hell's that window doing? What the hell's that? Okay. Let's go, guys. Oh, back to this fire... Wait, this is a different fireplace. Is it not? Yes, it is. Okay, this is a different fire. It's like a ghostly spirit fire. Oh, God, what's in here? Hide! Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, it's never a good sign when there's places you can hide. The house is listening. Who is master of the world? Man or the insect? The hell? Creatures representing of all forms of I hear lots of breathing. How do I get there? I've got to go round to this. I think I've got to go in this door. Too much noise may attract enemies. Are you for real? Oh, I've got to go down here. Guys. What the hell is that? Oh, I'm in the gym. What's this? Play! Rebuilding a practice is a daunting task. Especially when you consider our remote location. But then it hit me. Remote sessions. I've had patients reach out over the phone before. So why not embrace that? I'm certain some former colleagues would take issue, but then they would take issue with SSRIs. Okay. Does she have a mental issue or something? So, Bri Dr. Briar is Felicia's husband. Oh, God. Oh, we're back in the baby's room. Oh. Oh, we can go in here now. What the hell? Oh, we're back in here. Oh, it's back in this room. Okay, guys, here we go. What the hell does a rope, a ticket, and a goddamn apple have to do with anything? Why that? Why those items? Oh, God. Oh, we got a tape. Let's see here. Dose one, 50 milligrams of amipramine, along with 100 milligrams of morphine for pain. Mm -hmm. Patient is woozy, but not hysterical. We'll maintain dosage tomorrow. Why is she classing Felicia as a patient? Dose two. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of manoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, Dr. B. Open lock. Interesting enough to use as a key code. Gotta poke around some. Okay, we've got to find some... We've got to find a code. Um, Code's got to be in his office, surely. Okay, got... Okay, guys. That was a little baby. I repeat. That was a little baby. 
I thought when this glows sometimes like it's a clue or something, but it's obviously not. I'm getting away from where that music's coming from. Oh, man. You okay? I don't feel so good. Oh, no! The patient is taken to seclusion and doesn't seem to understand her surroundings. This, I think, may be for the best. I will monitor this situation closely before making any more hasty decisions after last time. Okay. Still, she needs her medicine and she leaves her pills on her tray each night. Hopefully she that's... understand that she needs to get well for herself and for Ah, it's baby. Felicia. I must take matters into my own hands for both their sakes. Oh, no. Matters into my own hands? That's not alpha male or anything. God damn it, Dr. Breyer. You have killed Felicia with your medicine. What do you guys think? Do you think Dr. Breyer's bad? Or is it the baby? What's in here? Oh. Grab. Scan. It's gotta be the code. Delphi. Text to speech. The only star I can really seem oh. to hone in on is IC2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. Okay. I see two one one eight. I see two. <laughs> ah. Two, would work. I see two one one eight. That's that's pretty smart actually. I liked that. So I think I remember the code two one one eight or something like that. We'll get it. We'll get it. Don't worry. Right. I've got a feeling now that we're going back, guys. That something's gonna come up at us. When you always do something and then you go back to the same location. With us, Daddy. Sleep with us. What the hell? I told ya. I freaking told you guys. Sleep with us, Daddy. What the hell? What the hell is that thing? Oh my god, oh my god, it's like a demon. Ah, it's right behind me. Oh god, someone help me, someone help me, please! Where do I go? Where do I go? It's literally right behind me. It's like a D. I'm dead, I'm dead. No! Well. Now I'm back! <laughs> that was uh, very creepy. I think it's because I made too much noise. It's like the Grim Reaper that was. That was like the Grim Reaper. And I can hear him wandering around shot in the now. Dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. How do I what do was it? it again? Two, one, one eight, I think. Was it? Yeah! Pick up record room key. Examine note. What's this note? Delphi. Text to speech. Hello? Dear Richard Breyer, you must immediately alert any current patients and cease administering therapy or prescriptions as of today. Any attempt to continue practicing will be considered fraud and subject to prosecution in court. Sincerely, Roger Bradley. American Psychiatric Institute. Oh God, he's bad. Got. He's. How do I get over there? Oh no, I've got to go through where the freaking demon was, right? Not. Okay, I can hide in there. Why can't I go in anymore? I know. My fingers fumble keys, and sometimes I'm a little slower than before. But you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this in this body. body. I don't want any more pills? I don't like where this is going. Grab paintbrush. Don't, don't know where it's coming from, but sometimes I see this. Thing. <gasps> Is that the thing what was after me? I don't know why, but I just have to paint it. Even if it's 
just to get it out of my periphery. There's a painting here. Oh, I can't see the painting. Damn it. It's that. Oh, I can hide under here. God, guys, this is going to get serious. Oh, God, that scared me then. Creepy. That demon thing's really creepy. Oh, grab. What's this? I like how much stories in this game already. This is only chapter one. Text to speech. One. Some kind of woman. Somehow connected to the tree. Two. Other people. Seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife. Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. That song. What? Four. The noises. Five. Misaligned chakras. She's does she, is she having memories she like having me? Visions too? Oh! Cassie, thank you for Everything's fine now. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy. She's my mom. She's got the same visions as me. I'm off. I'm an orphaned kid. She has the same visions as me, 100%. Key used, great. Here we go, guys. Game saved. That's never a good sign. Can hide in this box. Play the tape. That painting. Maybe question my own advice. It wasn't her technique that gave me pause, but rather her subject matter. Oh. It's that demon thing, is it's gotta be that demon thing she painted. April second. Patient is once again sedated and resting. Roya, stop sedating you, boy. Oh God! This... Frightened of this place and of my own wife. I spend most of my time in the turret telling Felicia I'm working and watching the baby. In reality, I'm cowering. Oh God! This house is haunted, and they moved in this house. And the baby got demonized. I don't. <laughs> the baby got demonized or something, or the baby was innocent. And just this demon thing's just be there, uh, torturing them. Hello, frog. Fine, fine. Hmm. It's from my favorite book growing up, The Princess and the Frog. <laughs> my mom said she always caught me by old stinky ponds and wetlands looking for my future husband. But it wasn't about boys. I fell in love with nature. Uh. The sort of spirits that bind uh, us. Ah, she got herself into if spirits. If a gem or an herb could facilitate a divine connection, why couldn't an animal have a beautiful soul? She got herself stuck in the mud, I think. I was called you a killer frog, Felicia. She dug herself in a hot, in a hole, where maybe she contacted with spirits or something. Why are there so many beds I can hide in? Creeps me out. I need to stop tapping a lot as well. Okay, guys. Oh. 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 I got the doll. I grabbed a doll. It's one of those doll things what I placed around the house. Can I go this way? Yes. 
That demon's close. Okay, we're back out here. We need to find the stairs. Oh, God. Yes, let's go through this way. Quick, run, 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 run. Demon's creeping me out. What the hell was that? Oh, let's play the arcade. They've, they've got a freaking arcade room in the basement. Oh, I love this house now. I'm going to move in this house. Guys, they've got an arcade. Uh. Okay, okay, I got a recording. Let's go. It appears this method works best with patients that are, how should I say, more loquacious than others. Frank was never the chattiest patient I'd ever had, but the remote sessions are not quite working for us. I'll be calling one of my colleagues shortly to see if he can accommodate Frank into his patient load. Frank? Who's Frank? Oh god, guys. Oh god! Oh god! I can hear butterflies and stuff when he's close. I might hide. Oh wait, I think I found where I need to go. I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. Grab crystal. First the sage brushes, now this. How does Malachite crack? It's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just, just shatter like that? God! Goodbye, world. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Okay, we're good. God damn it, game. Stop creeping me out. Oh, wait. What's that? What did I just... Pick up solarium key. Me the goddamn key to the playroom. Where is it? I don't need the pills anymore, and I don't need you watching my every move. <laughs> Can't you tell? I haven't taken them in days. Uh oh. Oh, it's that door. It's to the. We got to go back to the arcade, guys. Back to the arcade. God, he's so close when I tap too much. Okay, we're good. Right. Yeah, let's go to the arcade, folks. See what we need to do. Please don't jump scare me, game. Please don't jump scare me. Oh, God, weird noise in this room. I've got less echo in this room. There's different floor material, I think. Explore the next goal. Oh, God. What's this on here? Pills! Because at some point... Look how many pills there are! There's so many pills! I don't understand. Is it Richard doing this? Or the house? That's the thing. I think... I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how. Uh oh. The house is making a weird, and the doc, the the husband thinks that it's her mental issue, like mental, that she's got mental issues. But it's actually the house doing it, I think. 
I think I need to go back out now. I'm locked in. I am locked in. Touch canvas. I've taken none of his prescriptions. I still see it. Yeah, it's the demon. I still see it. I still see it. Guys, it's the demon. What is it about that tree? I feel it too. Oh God, what the hell? Where am I now? Oh God, look at that. This canvas, maybe? These paints? I'm scared, guys. Betty. Uh, Why am I still seeing it? Oh, God. Guys, prepare your butts. Prepare your butts. It was a long corridor, which usually means something bad's going to happen. Oh, my God. What the hell's this room? Skull bubble wrap. Are you for real? Hello? Where are you? Here, Serge. What's up? Where are you? Okay. I'm in a... I don't know. I guess it was a nursery. There's bubble wrap everywhere. Wait a sec. Shouldn't you be at 30,000 feet right now? <gasps> oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Don't, don't answer it, don't answer it, don't answer it. Hello? Cold. 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 Whoever you are, I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? You can't scare me. Oh my, find a place to hide. Why? Oh, I can't find anywhere to hide. Oh no. I can't find a place to hide. Game, stop being, doing this. Oh, what the hell? What the hell am I hiding in? Well then, what the freaking hell is that? What the frick is going on? Why is there an, a, a nest in a nursery? Hello, Mr. Owl. You back again, I see. This game's so creepy, guys. The baby is gone. I have to warm her. Cold babies need to be warmed. What the hell? No, no, not fire, not here. Look at the crystals, no. gasoline. No, 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 not the baby. She's burning the baby. Fast. I need a fire extinguisher. She's burning the freaking baby. Got to get a fire extinguisher by the looks of it, guys. Now I hear whispering. It's over here, it's over here. Any types or anything? Each one is absolute crap. I've got a stack of JAMA journals of 
to my chin, and every issue is stuffed with pompous pseudo-intellectual prattle about the dangers of the medical model and the anti-pharmaceutical movement. Do no harm, my ass. One of my colleagues going to get back to what matters, the patient. A commentary on the state of Benny's. This dribble serves no one. Okay. Right. Okay, I gotta be quiet now. It's in that room. I think I've gotta go... Wait, I think I can go around this way. Wait, what? Oh, I'm in the kitchen. Here we go. Wait, I went the wrong way. <laughs> See ya. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Well, let's go back. Do stop fucking with me. When have I ever fucked around with you? Serge is actually you. In the flesh. It sounds like you can use a hand. I have a little fire to put out. Wait a minute, don't hang up. I'll call you back. Boy, stop hanging up on Serge and tell him you're in danger. God damn. Is that so hard to do? Right, go, 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 go. Here we go, here we go, we're at the fire. Gotta put out this fake ghostly fire made out of spirits. There you go. It didn't work. Oh, wait. Come on! There we go. Yay! Take that, demon! All of this place looks on fire. All of it. It's all completely on fire. You look at uh, the textures of the wood and stuff. It's all burnt. So this already happened. We're just playing the memories of it happening. She burnt the baby. She totally burnt the baby. Patient showing signs of progress. She is accepting the switch to bottle feeding and is no longer... What? Wait a moment. What's that? I uh must be hearing things. I, I need more sleep. She's giving he's giving the babies pills. Hello? Confused. What's that? Who's th who's there? Is something something burning? Felicia! No, 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 this this is how it ends. Fucking house! It made Felicia burn her family alive! Why is it tormenting these poor people? I, I thought I was supposed to fix it. To stop it. What, what, what am I even doing here? I don't understand! Okay. Calm down. I shouldn't be you shouldn't be here, Cassie. You're gonna die this now. Is all wrong. I gotta get out now. Come on, come on, guys. We've got to escape. Felicia burnt a, a family to pieces. And the dad and the baby both died. I don't know what happened to Felicia. Maybe she killed herself or something. Guys, we've got to get the hell out of this house now. No! no. What do you want from me? What the hell? No! Oh god, a no! Are you for real? I can't hear you as well. Not without the pills. I'm ready to join you now. There's no one left for me. Give me a sign you're still here. A knock. Those footsteps, your phonograph. Anything. I need to move on, but I'm afraid. Please show yourself. Your sister in suffering. Felicia. What? This doesn't sound good. Shit. The rope. I need to head back there, Stat. Oh my god. She hung herself. She hung herself. Is she the presence? Not Felicia. 
I'm coming. She's tricking. The demon's tricking you, dude. Cassie. That's not Felicia. That's the presence. That's the presence. You're tricking it. You're going to trick you? Oh, wait. Baby girl. It wasn't the presents. I'm off to visit with a girlfriend. What? <gasps> you do not do it, Felicia. Oh, wait. She's done it. Felicia, why? What happened? It wasn't your fault. None of this was your fault. It was the demons. What are you doing this? What the hell is the point of any of this? It's the demon. The goddamn demon. Woo! It's the tree. The axe. Wait, lock it. The hell is this lock? In the marketplace. Five. A spry old man handing her this locket. It was inscribed, "Thy healing fingers hath my eternal gratitude." Imagine my shock when he turned and I saw it was Erwin, the town cripple. And there was no cane in sight. What? Who was that? Who was she talking about? We're going back in time, guys. We're going back in time. So it's not this demon thing has a past. Chapter two. The ticket. Well, guys, I'm gonna leave you guys on a cliffhanger for the next chapter. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed the first chapter, The Rope. I'm really enjoying this game. Let me know your thoughts on the game, what you guys think about the story so far. What's, what's the deal with Felicia and this demon and the doctor and the baby? And about this locket now too. What's all this about? Um, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, I appreciate the support for watching it. I know it was an hour long, so God bless you for watching it. And hopefully you did enjoy it. Um, so yeah, thank you so much guys. That was Perception Chapter 1. And I'll see you all next episode.